Hello everybody, my name is Ord and welcome back to the Ord Narrations channel. Today we're reading a story about a guy whose wife left after 24 years for the affair partner. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button. That way you won't miss the latest upload. Alrighty, let's make a start. So, together for 24 years and married 18. We have two boys, 14 and 7. I thought we had a really good marriage. We were loving, affectionate and committed to the same goals and had a good sex life, etc. I became disabled last year after back surgery, which has slowed me down, but I'm still working and trying to be a good husband and father. A few months ago, she started an emotional affair with a guy she went mountain bike riding with as part of a group. I found her flirty text messages and confronted her. At first she lied and denied, but eventually admitted she had a thing for him, but no real feelings. She asked if we could try an open relationship, and somehow I agreed to see how it goes. I imagine she pecked at you and pecked at you until you eventually agreed to it. Unfortunately, many such cases. It becomes immediately obvious that he had feelings for her, so I asked her to pause seeing and communicating with him. She couldn't do it. The next week, she tells me she's in love with him, but also me. She said she wants to be Polly and live with him part-time and me and our kids part-time. I became extremely upset and told her no, and she threatened to leave. I delayed for a week, thinking that this craziness would end, but it didn't. She moved out and into his house, one week before Christmas, leaving me and the kids. She has called them or stopped by to see them briefly most days, but we all feel abandoned. I don't recognize this person who I've spent my entire adult life with. It's been devastating. When she would visit, she would try and initiate sex, and is still asking for a poly relationship, but shows zero interest in leaving him. I've told her no and cut most communication not involving the kids. It seems incredulous that decades fell apart in a few weeks. The fear and uncertainty of divorce and child custody fights feels overwhelming some days. Someone's left a comment saying, She wants her cake and to eat it too. The best of both worlds. The woman you married is gone, and unfortunately you're not getting it back. It's going to take some time to accept that. It's time to get an attorney and file, and the kids stay with you. Someone else left a comment saying, She's using that fear of divorce and custody against you. Polly is just her excuse to trial her new relationship and keep you as stability until she's confident in the long-term viability of her new partner. She's monkey branching you. She's abusing your love for her and using sex and affection to manipulate you. You need to act with strength and value. Take back your power, see a lawyer and work on your health. You need to value yourself before anyone else will value you. I'm sorry you're here. Someone replied to this saying, and what she's doing is definitely not Polly. A person who identifies as Polly would rip her to shreds for the non-ethical nature of her actions. She needs to just stop with that, because all she really wants is someone to pay the bills while she plays house with her AP. Someone else replied saying, Ah, the infamous polyamory. Adultery, faithlessness, and infidelity repackaged as nobility and virtue. A repulsive perversion and the antithesis of love. My word... What a wicked, dreadful, self-centered ideology and practice. Someone else replied to the original comment, saying, This should be the top comment. OP needs to get a lawyer ASAP. She has abandoned the family. This will also greatly help in filing for custody. He needs to get on it before her affair fog starts to wear off. She isn't the woman, mother or wife that he thought she was. Completely agree. Someone else has left a comment saying, Divorce is the best answer. She stayed with you in the best times and left you directly at your worst. She is selfish, rude, and disgusting. She's one of the humans who would throw a happy marriage away in the moment uh, when things became a little worse. Do you want to fight for that human? You did everything you could have done. Cut her out of your life, and also I assume your kids hate her for her actions. You shouldn't have never let the open relationship happen. Divorcing her is the only answer. Someone else left a comment saying, file fast while she's still in the affair fog. Someone else replied to this, exactly. OP, do this now. Your window for a relatively easy divorce is small and fleeting. She has betrayed you in the worst way. She has shown you complete disrespect and disloyalty. She is completely careless with your soul. The sounds and images will be with you forever, but at least will diminish with time after getting her out of your sight. You are in blinding pain, but do not let that delay your path to a better life. Good luck, my man. Someone else left a comment saying, Document everything. Hire a lawyer and go for full custody of the kids and divorce for abandonment. Also, see if you can sue this other guy for alienation of affection and get tested for STDs. Line up counselling for you and the kids, change the locks on your house and separate your finances so your wife cannot drain your accounts or run up credit card debt. 
cut off all contact with your wife except for dealing with the kids. In the meantime, look up The Healing Heart, The 180 in Grey Rock, and suggest reading Leave a Cheetah, Gain a Life. Best of luck. Good advice, especially the books. Someone else left a comment saying, OP, you need to cut the cord. She's fence-sitting right now. Despite you saying no to Polly, what you describe hints at it. So, push her off the fence. Reveal her adultery to her friends and family. Seek a lawyer now and file for divorce. Change the locks on your house. She's moved out. She doesn't live there anymore. And do the 180. And no pick-me dance. Someone replied to this saying, Plus, the kids are old enough to understand that she abandoned you and then went for another man. Be age-appropriate with the youngest, but make sure they know what's going on. As painful as this is for them, it is still less painful and less damaging than letting her manipulate and weaponize them to keep this dual life and hurt you. If you think she wouldn't stoop this low, remember, you also thought she wouldn't cheat on you and dump your family for a fling. Someone else left a comment saying, I would push for the divorce. What you are describing is cake eating. She has the best of both worlds, even though you're resisting. She gets her extra sex, the built-in babysitter to keep the kids from interfering with her free time, and the affair partner gets all of the benefits of uncommitted sex, which might just be that the straw breaks the camel's back. Would he be so interested in her if he knew there was commitments down the road? Or if he has other commitments that would object to him getting benefits elsewhere, like a wife? Find out about him through a, a private investigator or third party willing to do the investigating, because I'm pretty sure you're already blocked on social media. Inform the OBS of the affair partner, and that will take the steam out of your significant other's poly desires when the affair partner uh, realizes he isn't getting anything more than aggravation from losing assets and gaining more responsibility when your uh, WW needs a place to stay. This is a tricky situation. So, what do you think OP should do? What would you do in OP's shoes? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button and that way you won't miss the latest upload. Alrighty, we'll have to leave that there. Thank you very much for listening and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.